My name is Alexander Gattensby, and ever since birth, I've been a big damn dork. Be it comic books or video games. God damn, this is the sexiest game I've ever played. You name it, I love it. Now that I'm all grown up, I'm looking for answers. I want to know what the community at large thinks about pop culture topics. I'm Alexander, and this is Pop Culture Smash. Oh! Hmm. Oh, hi. I didn't see you there. Today we're talking... Spider-Man. In 2002, Sam Raimi brought Spider-Man to life in feature film form and continued the series until 2007. When a fourth movie was dragged through development hell, Raimi opted to leave the project, and thus the decision was made to reboot the series. This resulted in 2012's The Amazing Spider-Man, helmed by 500 Days of Summer director Mark Webb. After its sequel, released in 2014, received overwhelmingly negative reviews from franchise fans, Sony Pictures agreed to lend the character back to Marvel, its rightful owner. This led to a brief appearance of the character in Captain America's Civil War, and then his own feature-length film, Spider-Man Homecoming, 2017. To date, the comic hero has been portrayed on film by three different actors, Tobey Maguire, Andrew Garfield, and Tom Holland. Now let's find out who the Yukon thinks is the best Spider-Man. Tobey Maguire. I'm, I'm always open to somebody else, but like with, with Spider-Man, it's always like, I'll always picture Tobey Maguire in my head, you know? He was, he was everything, in my opinion, that Spider-Man should be, you know? Represents as a hero. I liked the first Amazing Spider-Man movie. Uh, I didn't when I first saw it, but then I rewatched it and I liked it quite a bit. I enjoyed Homecoming a lot more than I thought I would. When I saw the trailers for it, it kind of looked like Diary of a Wimpy Kid, but with Spider-Man to me. But actually seeing the movie, it was very different. I guess the trailer is just really blue. <laughs> I don't know. Uh, I just... He's just always been Spider-Man to me, you know? Like, the way, the way Christopher Reeve, who played Superman, embodied Superman, Tobey Maguire was that um, for me, but you know, for Spider-Man. So, so I can't pick Neil Patrick Harris? No. Oh, I'd really like to see him in the tights, though. <laughs> he had the voice for it. You know, I get, I get, I get mistaken for Spider-Man sometimes. Kids will say, "Oh, you're dressed as Spider-Man," and I say, "Yeah, I got my, I got my spider gun <laughs> and, and my spider swords, and I'm, I'm Spider-Man, obviously." Obviously. Oh, I gotta go with Tom Holland. The suit just looks fantastic. He stole Cap's shield, though. Disrespectful little punk. Oh, I don't know. So, uh, Marvel's been branching out into different genres. They're doing, like, a horror film, so I don't see any reason why we can't have a Spidey Deadpool romance film. I think that's mm. a great idea. It, there'd be comedy, action, tragedy, heart, bromance. That would be your number one Spidey film right there. Who is your favorite Spoderman actor? Toby Maguire. Well, mainly, uh, in my opinion, he's the one that portrays Spider-Man the best. He gives the best storyline in the movie, even, in my opinion, out of the movies. And on top of that, he's the one I grew up watching. So it's, it's kind of it's kind of hard to tell to tell me that somebody else is a better Spider-Man. Man, who wouldn't like being able to shoot webs out of their arm? I totally would do that. I would never walk again. <laughs> like that. If you think about it, Spider-Man is 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 in my opinion one of, one of the better superheroes in general, which a ton of people would argue, and I get that. <laughs> um, Can you do like Tobey Maguire? Yeah. Greatest Spider-Man ever. There you have it, folks. The internet has spoken, and Tom Holland has been named the Superior Spider-Man. Ha <laughs> <laughs>